Hey, hey, hey. Hope you guys are ready to get started. Hope you guys are ready to have some fun today. Today, we're gonna be making a lot of yummy food. We're gonna be making some uh, some chicken cacciatore or chicken cacciatora, or you know, basically our version of that. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, we're gonna be making some nudi, something that I've never made before. Uh, looking forward to that. It looks really yummy. Can't wait to make some of that. And we're gonna be making some uh, tiramisu. That's right, hells yeah, can't wait for that. In fact, I need to get me some coffee. We're gonna get that coffee going. I got the grinder out here. We're gonna make some espresso and um, can't wait to get started today. So give me a few seconds so, you know, we can make sure that the whole show is uh, rolling and uh, you know, we're live and uh, we'll get back to you in a few seconds, all right? So let me roll the intro and uh, get started in a second.
guys, we are back. Finally. Sorry, so sorry for the delay today. This has been a really off week, you know, and I sincerely apologize for all that. But shout out to everybody out there that's made it so far. We got Jadab, Jadabah, pa, you know, out there in Twitch land. Bruh. Shout out to you. Sorry about mispronouncing your name. And shout out to Mr. Lodak, already putting his orders in. And shout out to Lambo. You already know what's up. Shout out to everybody. Um, but yeah, it's just been an off week, you know, because, you know, I'm jet lagged. You know, we just got back from our trip, you know, last week. We got the time change. It's literally, literally 105, yeah, 105 degrees outside right now. Bruh. And, um, and I could go on and on. So it's just been one of those uh, weeks, you know what I mean? But hey, you know, we're here, we're queer, get used to it, all right? And uh, we're having fun and we're enjoying ourselves. So, you know, we, before we get started, you know, we need some coffee, you know what I mean? One million percent. So let's get, let's get that coffee, all right? Now, not just any coffee. Yeah, you know, we're gonna be making some espresso, all right? AKA um, some, well, we're gonna make a little Cuban coffee, but we need some espresso. Why? Because we're making some tiramisu later, and we're gonna make some coffee so we can uh, cool it down for the later step, you know, where we're gonna be dipping the lady fingers and all that crap. So, one second, let me get a little water. So if you've never made uh, espresso before, you basically, it's uh, one of these thingies, all right? And uh, you fill the water all the way up until under the little line, all right? And then you put coffee in it. Bro, what was that? Bro. <laughs> Shout out to Victor Lopez. Where did I go? I think I'm still here, right? Hope it's streaming. Yeah, it's streaming. All right. But no, yeah. Oh, where did I go? You mean on my trip? No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not right in the head sometimes, or all times. But anyways, so you're asking me where we went to Mexico City. Um, mmm, 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 espresso, yummy. Anyways, yeah, we went to Mexico City. Christian was, uh, you know, exposing her. Her pictures, her she's an artist, and uh, she had some paintings because it was uh, last month. It was uh, Women's Month, and so uh, you know she had some paintings that she went to uh, go display out there. She was uh, doing like a like a showing. Uh, basically, she got picked by the Mexican House of Representatives um, to be one of the few um, to showcase her artwork. You know, basically showcasing you know, the various powerful women in Mexican history. I, mean, I don't know if that makes any sense. So, so she was doing that. And so we went along. It was fun. A little business trip, you know? A little business business. Right? A little more. But yeah, Mexico City is pretty awesome, man. Really enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Highly recommend. All right, we're gonna be making a little bit, you know, a lot of coffee today. So I just decided to fill this bad boy up and, uh, you know, go from there. So let's uh, make batch number one of coffee, all right? And uh, I'm, gonna put in a, I'm gonna be putting a little bit to the side is uh, we need to drink some coffee. You know, we got a regular coffee, but I feel like it's espresso time. I used to only strictly drink this. And then when I moved here, since it's like a slower pace of life, at least in this part of Mexico, it's like, bro, whatever. I just drink American coffee. I'm good to go. Bruh. <laughs> so I used to drink a lot of this as a Cuban, because I'm a Cuban. All right, so we're going to pop this over here. Pop, pop, pop. Put it back here. All right, so let's do a little double duty real quick here. Duty. I think there's enough for batch number two. So we're good there. Good coffee. But anyway, shout out to everybody. Thanks for your patience, I appreciate it. Like, um, I'm not quite sure if, um, 
I was thinking to myself, I don't know what you guys prefer, you know what I mean, or what the audience prefers when it comes to like the time, you know, when it's the best time for me to live stream. But you know, the more I see the live streamers that do the cooking, it's every time, all the time, all day, all night, all day, all night. So I was just figuring, you know what, I'm just gonna go live at my time, which by the way, it's usually, and it will be, um, you know, Monday through Thursday, all right? We're doing Monday through Thursday, and we're doing uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, okay? So that's like 1 p.m. my time, 2 p.m. Eastern, and uh, that's what we're doing. I know today we started very late. We've been, you know, off the last couple of weeks for various reasons, but I appreciate all you guys with all your patience, but yeah, tell us to, yeah, you know, we're gonna be, you know, back on schedule, and we're gonna be planning many things. You know, we're doing a lot of things, you know? It's just, and you know how it is. You know, you never give us, you, when you never give it yourself enough time to rest, Everything just starts to pile up, and before you know it, you got a bigger mess to clean up and, and take care of. So it's no big deal, though. We know we uh, we out here doing things. So all right, let's uh, get that coffee. All right, we got the coffee going back here. In the meantime, while we're making the coffee, let me go on ahead and get um, where I'm gonna be putting. I think I'm just gonna be putting my the coffee in here to cool down, and then this is where I'm gonna put the cookies. You know, to soak them in the coffee for the tiramisu, all right? So we're just gonna be dumping it in there, but we also need a, mm, I guess we'll just use, we'll just use this, all right? Let's uh, make some Cuban coffee, all right? I'm looking for like a little pot. Yeah, because my pot is being used by something. Shout out to everybody out there. Has, has anyone out there ever heard of Nudie before? Have you guys ever heard of that? I never heard of it up until like the other day when I was like researching things to make. Somebody out there suggested that I should make, uh, someone out there suggested that I should make some ravioli. And so this Nudie is like, you know, the best thing I could get because, uh, you know, I wasn't gonna go and make the whole ravioli, you know what I mean? I'm still like, uh, I'm not advanced level yet. And uh, that's like advanced level, you know, making the, the pasta and doing all that stuff, you know, to make the to make the ravioli, you know what I mean? Because I would have to make everything from scratch, you know, since I live out here in Mexico and stuff. So, um, you know, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna see what else is out there. So nudie is basically like the stuffing that you would put in a ravioli, but it's a different recipe where basically it's, it's just the stuffing. So I was like, all right, you know, usually a lot of times when you're eating like things like ravioli, sometimes the stuffing is the best part. You only want the stuffing anyway, right? So why not? It sounds like uh, something good, all right? So I was like, all right, let's give it a shot. All right, so in the meantime, what I'm doing over here all right, what I'm doing over here is that we're gonna be getting uh, this little pot situation over here, all right? Here, we're gonna see, you guys can see a little bit the coffee better, I guess. So let's check it out. How cool is that, here? Now, it kinda needs to be covered. Fix the camera set up a little bit there. All right, so we're making the coffee right there. It's almost done. It's so hot, you know what I mean? It doesn't take that long. So we're gonna get a little sugar in here. We're gonna make a little Cuban coffee. All right, just a little. So in order to make Cuban coffee, You just get a little bit of 
coffee in there. Right? Nah, I did it wrong. Whatever. Anyways, but it's just coffee and sugar. You know, basically, it's not. <laughs> Bruh. Anyway, shout out to everybody out there. So again, we're making espresso um, because I have to uh, wake the fuck up and I also gotta... What was I gonna say? We also gotta make the... You see? This is for the tiramisu. So I'm gonna just dump this in here. You know, I think that's enough. I don't think I need that much more. Really, right? I guess I'll save the rest of this coffee over here. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this over here to cool down. This is where I get a little Cuban coffee over here. Yeah, this is enough to dip the fingers in. I don't need that much coffee. So I know we're starting our we're starting our Italian adventure with making some Cuban coffee. <laughs> All right, gonna wake up. All right, gonna give some to the wife. She can wake up. So living in Mexico, though, you know, living in 105 degrees. <laughs> Just chilling out there, having fun. Shout out to everybody. Okay. One second. this to the side. I'm going to save this coffee for tomorrow. We'll just make that tomorrow. Okay, and we are good. All right. Mission one passed. Mission two. Mission two is uh, we got ourselves some chicken. Okay, and we're gonna get this chicken. Alright, and we are gonna season it, alright, so we can start uh, getting that chicken catch tori going. Alright, so. Shout out to everybody out there.
Shout out to you. Shout out to me. All right, so we're gonna be making some chicken cacciatore. This is a basic, super basic recipe um, that, you know, again, you can just take your liberties and make um, however, you, however you think is best, you know? Um, we're, again, all the recipes that I make for the most part, you know, you can always take your liberties and make your own. Now, this recipe, okay, um, we're gonna be making our version, okay? We're gonna be making chicken cacciatore, all right? Ch just regular chicken cacciatore, which is a play, which is a, you know, version of the original, which is chicken cacciatore, all right? Which is a, you know, an Italian dish. But we're gonna be making our own. Um, I feel like almost everybody in the Mediterranean, and especially in the US, obviously, you know, because we've uh, adopted a lot of that. Um, you know, we have a version of this, all right? We have some version of this, and, um, so we're just gonna make my version, all right? What what am I? What's my version gonna consist of? Whatever the hell I have laying around the fridge, whatever I got lying around. So we're just gonna start off here. We're just getting some basic, you know, fine herbs. Whatever fine herbs you want to use. These fine herbs consist of like some rosemary, some oregano, um, some thyme. You know, the basics. All right, and these fine herbs will help us. Reach, you know, what is it? Achieve fine goodness, all right? Fine yumminess. All right, so that's gonna be awesome. Speaking of herbs, I had to get my other herbs out of the way. I completely forgot I had them there. Not all, or not all herbs have been, are made equally. All right, and then that's it. You know, we're gonna get a little salt. Yeah, a little pepper. I mean, like super simple. You know, beforehand, depending on where you get your ch chicken from, you might want to wash it. You might want to, you know, play with it a little bit. You know, whatever you're going to do with it. Um, da -da 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 -da, but yes. All right, so we're going to start getting the pan we have back here nice and hot. We got ourselves some hot, nice olive oil. All right. And what we're going to be doing here. See, I got this, uh, let me see if I can fix it now. continue to season these bad boys all right so we're just gonna press in some of that seasoning all right I'm gonna flip these guys around and do the same on the other side okay Simply gonna just come over here, get our tongs, which are over here. Alright. And we're gonna just again season these guys. Again, you know, we, we the seasoning only because you gotta season everything. You can't, you know, the very minimum salt and pepper. You gotta just season everything. So that's what we're doing here. Alright. Um but again, you don't have to go overboard, you don't have to get like, you know, all the seasoning all up in, in all the crevice size. And, and everything, it, this is fine, this is fine. Okay, right? Because I'll, I'll, whatever seasoning is kind of like left off and in the in the pan is gonna be used no matter what. There's a one pot dish, one pan dish, you feel me? So that's it. 
keep it, keep it simple, stupid, all right? That's right. So again, we got the oil getting nice and hot back here. I'm gonna wait for it just a little bit longer, but again, we're gonna, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the chicken and we're gonna start cooking it in the pan. We're gonna start getting it going, you know, get the, um, get a nice little crust going, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna switch over our cameras. You guys can get a closer look there. And I think, um, okay, let me see, where's the chat? Let's move that this way. There we go. Okay. And yeah, it's it's no big deal in this case. You know, we're uh, crowding the pan or whatever. you know, crowding the pan or what have you in this case. Um, because we're just, remember, this is gonna be slow cooked. This is something that's gonna take a while to cook. And uh, since it's gonna take a while to cook, we want it um, to take its time. You know what I mean? We're not in a hurry. We're not trying to get like a, uh, a really crispy edge or anything. All we're trying to do here is uh, just start the browning process. You know, by browning it, we add an extra level of flavor, an extra layer of flavor. We could just simply, you know, start adding the onions and the, and all the, the peppers and all the spices and all that stuff in there and just completely forget, you know, completely forget about doing this step. Um, and it, it'll still be chicken cacciatore, but this adds so much flavor, so why not do it? So that, well, that's why we're doing it. So while that's doing its thing back there, all right, let me see, all right, we're good. So while that's doing its thing over there, we're gonna start getting the other ingredients ready. All right, so you already know, onion, a little pepper. By the way, okay, basically it's just onion, garlic, maybe some, um, I mean, and some uh, capers and some olives. But we're gonna, you know, we're gonna add some tomato, all that stuff. So, you know, we got the tomato from yesterday, remember? We had one left over, so we're gonna use it now. We got the pepper, all right? Because I had a pepper left over. I was like, I gotta use it. We got the onion, we got all that. So, let's just start getting all that ready, all right? No need to add too much garlic, um, because I've already been using a lot of garlic throughout the week, so I think this should be enough garlic. You know, one little clove of garlic here. Okay. You got that chicken back there sizzling away. We got this onion. Man. Today is hot, like I said. I feel like almost like the fan isn't even on. Maybe, I think I had it on the, on the lower setting. Did I? They're just so hot you don't even notice. Crap. Oh yeah, it was on the high setting. Crap. Right. Like, yeah.
So again, this is a very simple dish. Okay, as you guys can see, we're just getting the mise en place ready. All right. Let's uh, go on ahead and flip the chicken around, all right? It smells so good in here already. Look at that. Oh, there's no magic trick there. Look at that, looks awesome. All right, so we got that chicken going back there. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go on ahead and get like, um, yeah, this is fun. No, 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 no. Get a plate, all right, so we can put everything, all right? Once we're done, all right, so let's just get everything else ready to go. All right, so we got this garlic, all right? We're adding to the, to the chicken, just rough chop it, that's it. You know, you don't gotta like, you know, mince it or whatever. All right, the onion. All right, we've got, we want some size to this, so just like a medium dice is fine. You know, we don't want it to completely disappear. Okay. Alright, we got that, and now let's just get the pepper in there. The tomato is last, so we don't gotta worry, we can just hold off on that for a second. And then the same thing, get yourself some nice, nice little chunky chunks, you know what I mean? They're not gonna completely disappear. Same thing, medium dice. Okay. And you notice how I'm just like doing it whatever, you know what I mean? And you see how awesome it always comes out, right? Okay. All right. So now what we got to do is get this chicken out. So we're gonna get the chicken, we're gonna put it right here on the plate. Just for a second. Okay. And look at all that lovely oil, and we're gonna move it to that camera so you guys can see. Alright, look at all that lovely oil, and that stuff that's stuck on there, that's called the fawn. Alright. 
right? And that is created simply from the sugars that have melted, the sugars that have disappeared, whatever, you know what I mean? Awesome is that? Alright, but the sugars that have come off, you know, from the meat, okay, and that have um, a right, little salt, little pepper. But the sugars that have come off from the meat, and then they have some, you know, again, they um they burned into the pan. But they didn't burn completely because we didn't allow it to. And so now, when we add the onions, right here, I'm going to bring the camera back over there so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now when I add the onions, you see, the water from the onions, again, look, I'm not even going to use this, right? So you can see what I mean, all right? Look how it can just scrape the bottom of the pan. And all that flavor, all that chicken goodness is now conserved and in the dish and then we don't got remember I didn't add any extra oil or anything because the oil the chicken fat okay whatever chicken fat we we had in there you see look it it started to burn a little bit over there but you know barely it does nothing all right you gotta see you gotta scrape that with the pepper a little harder other than that we're good to go and look at that You see, look, the whole bottom of the pan is now clean. Okay, if it's not clean over there, you but that's it. And that's how you build flavor, guys. All right, that's how you build flavor. All right, things like little things like that. All right, tomato. Okay, now we're gonna get the tomato. Just take out the little core. You don't need that. Okay. And then we're gonna add this tomato in there. Because remember, chicken cacciatore, it needs some tomato. And we're gonna use fresh tomato here. And this is, look, look at this. Look how beautiful this tomato is, all right? We just had this uh, yesterday in the Caprese. It was amazing. A beautiful, nice, ripe tomato. That's what I love about being out here in Mexico. Everything has flavor. You know, these tomatoes actually have flavor. You know, you eat this in, in the U.S. and it doesn't even have a flavor. It tastes like nothing. Out here, everything tastes something like, I mean, that's how you know. All right? All right, and now we're gonna go on ahead and add this in there now. Just add it in there now. Okay? That's gonna add, you know, the next level of flavor, okay? That's gonna go on ahead and add the next level of flavor. Alright. Now, you don't have to toss, you don't have to toss it that way. You know, it is, you know, a lot better than doing it with the spoon. But just with practice, all right? Don't, don't sweat it. Just because you can't do that, it's not, not a make or break. It's not gonna change the flavor. Just because I flip, just because I do that, doesn't make it taste better, okay? It's just Bruh. easier for me than doing it with the spoon or whatever, okay? Now look, this chicken has, uh, there's some juice in there. So we're gonna go ahead and get that juice and just throw it in there like that. Alright, not wasting anything. Now what we're going to do is go on ahead and add a few of the herbs that we want in there. So I'm going to add a bay leaf, alright? Nice little bay leaf. Two bay leaves, two bay leaves in there, alright? And also we're going to add some olives, okay? So we got some 
nice Kalamata olives, some capers, okay, and some green olives, right? Yeah, green olives come here in a little bag. Man, it is crazy hot today. So it's gonna get a cooler. It's gonna cool down hopefully by Friday when we get some rain. So please pray for the rain. We need to do a rain dance. Anyways. Okay, so shout out to everybody out there. So we got, like I said, okay, so now we're going to just start adding some of these, um, all right, let's add some capers, all right? And yeah, it's okay if you get some of that brine in there. The brine is good. Don't worry about it. Same thing with the olives. You know what, let's uh, this is that all the olives. Now, a little bit of the brine. Okay, because the brine, uh, you know, the brine is um, but mostly vinegar based and it's good. You know I mean? It's also good for the, all right? And now we're gonna add some of these black calamata. Basically, that's what makes this dish, you know? When, yeah, sorry about my big ass hand there. Oh, okay. Sorry about my, my big goods. <laughs> okay, so some of that brine is, again, you know, gonna deepen the flavor of what we're making. And um, and especially, like I said, you know, this dish is almost, it's like chicken and olives, you know, basically is what it is, you know what I mean? Chicken with, with olives. That's what this dish is. And, um, you know, let's add those olives, you know what I mean? Why not, all right? That's the dish, right? So that's what we gotta, so you see it's, it's when, you, when you do it this way, when you're making the chicken cacciatore, I'm saying chicken cacciatore because again, it's not chicken cacciatore, all right? Very different. We'll make that another day. All right, but today we're making this, all right? By the way, I, I, the first hate mail or hate comments I ever got, all right, was on Monday's episode making the spaghetti and meatballs and stuff by some actual Italians, some actual Italians out there. Bruh. They literally just came in like, helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> They're like, how dare you? How dare you? You know what I mean? That is not Italian. That is this. And this is the way it is. And, I, and I'm like, man, if you want to watch the episode, yeah, I explained all that. You know, it's shit, my bad, I'm sorry. By the way, hilarious, you know, this is why I'm doing the cooking now. I prefer to get into those kind of discussions, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I mean, I was telling you guys uh, all week, you know, how the Italians really, really take this really seriously and take it to like the next level. And my God, I was not disappointed. All right. So, we got that. Now we're gonna go on ahead and add a little bit of paprika, all right? To get a little bit of that smoky flavor. Again, this is my version. My version, I already know I'm getting attacked out there. By, <laughs> by Italians. Oh man, I love it, man. I love it. You can't get away from it these days on the internet, no matter what. Anyways. All right, so we're adding a little bit of that, all right? We're adding a little bit of sage because they add sage to a lot of things for whatever reason. So let's go with some sage. They like the sage. Okay. And a little oregano. Shout out to all my Italian viewers out there. Shout out to you. 
How's it going, Naran Jaloof? I like I like saying it like that better, by the way. I'm gonna call you Jaloof from now on. Shout out to you. By the way, so I'm, that's why I make Cuban coffee. I'm not making Italian coffee. Again, to piss off the Italians even more. I love my Italians out there. But holy shit, they take the food to another level. By the way, as they should, man. They got some of the best food in the fucking planet. I mean, it's not the best. That's right, fight me in the comments. <laughs> I'm not saying it was like um I feel like uh it was like Jerry Springer. It's like, oh, you know, we got this uh you know black uh you know what is it black coalition or whatever NAACP person and we got this uh KKK member. Um why don't you guys just sit there and discuss, you know, or fight, ding ding ding, you know like Jerry Springer. I'm not trying to take a fight. Most people call you asshole. Yeah, most people call me an asshole too, don't worry about it. Join the club. Join the club. Look at that, how we got a nice little, beautiful, yummy, fragrant sauce. But well, we still got one more thing we gotta do here. To really, you know, bring this whole thing together, we can add it some wine, all right? Some, a nice white wine. I love, look, I, the thing is, I, I, I love cooking with wine. You know what I mean, wine's great, but I usually, Whenever I'm gonna add wine to a dish, it's like 80% of the time, it's a white wine. And why is it a white wine? Because a white wine doesn't take over the dish. It's like a, like a backup partner, you know, like a, like a nice, uh, you know, something in the background. It's, it's perfect, it's great, it doesn't never, it's very rare that it overpowers a dish. Um, so that's why white wine, but whenever you use red wine, I mean, you basically overpower the dish with red wine. And most dishes that, require red, red wine either it's a tiny bit where you very rarely you know get to notice it or it's again the same amount i'm gonna add with this but you notice it and then you might as well just call it like beef bourguignon you know what i mean some sort of like red wine dish you know what i mean it's just red wine is just so much more overpowering so much deeper and thicker and wait deeper in flavor yeah all right, so now we're just gonna, so why, okay, we're gonna, why did I wait? Why was I giving you this, that whole intro or what have you? I'm, I'm telling you why, because look, in the meantime, the tomato, remember when we were talking about the sugars with the meat? So tomatoes, it's a fruit, like, like, it's a fruit, um, so it's, um, you know, gonna have its own sugars, and if you leave it there long enough, guess what? It's gonna do the same exact thing as, the meat, all right? The sugars are, the water is gonna burn off and then the sugars are gonna be left behind and then those sugars are gonna start to caramelize and create a font. And again, same thing here with the tomatoes. And the sugars in the other things, but basically the tomatoes here, okay? So we're just giving it like another like minute here, another second and we're gonna go on and add some white wine, all right? The white wine to deglaze. Once we deglaze, then we're gonna add the chicken. All right, actually, we're gonna add the white wine. As it's deglazing, we'll add the chicken in there, all right? And then we're gonna add some liquid from water. Um, gonna get a little chicken base, all right? A little, remember, a little secret weapon. And we're just gonna let that ride, and that's it. And then, let it ride, you know what I mean? Just sit it in the back, set it, and forget it. And that's it, you know? Um, that's why I love these dishes, these one pot dishes beautiful thing and again what we're how you make it so good depending on how much time you spent during the prep how many uh, layers of flavor you decide to add and build that's all really what's going to determine the final taste the final product once you the thing is that during these steps what we're doing is just developing flavor adding steps you know developing 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 imagine just folds and folds developing flavor layers of flavor and then once we get all those layers of flavor, once we finally add the, the chicken, the water, and everything back, back in there, and we just let it just cook, you know what I mean? Just let it do its thing. That's when it's gonna develop its final flavor. It's gonna get all those layers and put them together and create something beautiful. All right, and that's it. Okay. Okay, look at that. You can see it's starting to like kind of stick a little bit here. 
But again, I don't want it to stick. I don't really want it to. So at this point, now we're gonna just go on ahead and add the wine, all right? How much? How, how much you want, no matter. It's about a half a cup, maybe. A quarter a cup to a half a cup, okay? This is also part of the flavor, okay? Um, it's the wine and the olives that are the star of the dish more than anything else, all right? That's really what's gonna, you know, bring the whole thing together. And the whole thing of like cooking out the liquor or the alcohol, yeah, in order for you to really cook out the alcohol, it actually takes a long time. Um, in the case of this, it will cook out the alcohol um, eventually, but in certain other dishes in which, you know, it's just like a quick little flambe, a quick little whatever, there's still alcohol left in whatever you're making. Like if you have like rum cake, or you have some sort of like uh, rum raisin ice cream or something, there's still rum in there, believe it or not. All right, and so we're just, what we're doing there is I just wanted to evaporate some of the water within the wine, all right, help kind of unstick, um, all right, help unstick the remaining pieces there, all right? And now that's it, we just added the chicken back in there, we're good to go, all right? We're gonna go on and get the water and add the water and that's it, we're done. We just again set it and forget it. So let me go get the water. secret ingredient, the little chicken base. Because ideally, what you really want to add here would be some chicken uh, stock. But you know, we don't have chicken stock, so we're gonna add a little chicken bouillon cube with water. Chicken stock, right? Okay. So we got water here, we're gonna add the water now. As you can see, that's it, you don't need to add that much. The water, the water really, more than anything else, what the water's doing here in this dish is, is uh, cooking it. You know I mean, it's a vehicle for, for the cooking, all right? It's a vehicle, all right, to, to allow this to cook, all right? So eventually, as the water evaporates, just like the wine evaporates, just like the water and all these other vegetables evaporated and, and, and everything else, the chicken, you know, you, you name it, as this actual plain H2O evaporates, it will concentrate, again, it will mix all these flavors together, it will concentrate them and create this magical, yummy stew, all right, that we love to call chicken cacciatore. Now, chicken cacciatore, chicken cacciatore, this is uh, my version. And that's it, all right? I'm just, you know, I added a little water, so I wanted to make sure it's not really sticking to the bottom or anything, you know? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Camera died on me halfway through. Hey, when I... The minute I take my my uh, eyes off the camera, that's the minute the camera goes off. Why does it hate me so much, huh? Yeah, I know. I need like Julia Child sound bites. I need. I need. You know, I'm working on all. That. In fact, I I keep. I'm hesitant with the other buttons because I forget. Look, look here. <laughs> what they do. Now, give me a second. Let me get rehook up the. Let me drink some water in the meantime. This was ice like a little bit ago. Now it's all just melted water.
cat. <laughs> but yeah, as you guys can see there, all right, we got the chicken cacciatore doing its thing. We're gonna go on ahead and add a little bit more water, just a little bit. I don't wanna to add too much because I don't want it to like over, you know, spill or what have you. But that's it, you know, basically, it's gonna let this ride and that's it. You know, it'll take over like about an hour to cook, give or take, all right? That's it. Wow. <clears throat> okay. So now that we got that done, let's see. Um, what's the next thing? I guess I'm wondering if I should make the. Mm, Give me a second, hold on. Yeah, but I definitely need, like you said, I need uh, I need some sound bites. You know, if Jan, if Jose can cook, so can you. You know, and uh, some Julia Child ones or something. That's for sure. In fact, if you know, you guys out there, you know, with uh, suggestions and uh, and all this other stuff, you know, you guys can leave me suggestions. I have a, a Discord. Um, you guys can go to the Discord, and all the links are down below where you can, you know, go on ahead and leave your suggestions, um, t you know, leave your recipes. If you've ever made any one of these recipes you want to share, you can go on ahead and share. Also in the Facebook group, I got a Facebook group, all the links are down below. And you can, again, just share, you know, whatever you make out there, um, even if it's not something you made from the show, but just your own creation, something you might want me to, you know, recreate or make on the show, um, or whatever, anything food related. You know, again, you know, we got the Discord, we got the Facebook group, and you guys can, uh, you know, go ham. All right, I think we're gonna go on ahead and uh, let's make the tiramisu first. Okay. I feel like that's probably gonna be the hardest, all right? Let's just knock that out. Separate three eggs here. You gotta separate the egg whites. Let me see if I can do it over here first. Give me one second. It's so hot.
Okay, so I separated the eggs and the egg whites, all right? I'm gonna go on ahead and put this in the fridge freezer for a minute, okay? I'm gonna tell you why in a second. The reason I put that in the freezer fridge for a minute is simply because uh, it's so hot. It's like a million degrees out here. And, um, you know, as I was, uh, literally it's 105 degrees. As I was separating the eggs, um, the egg whites were a little bit too liquidy and um, I'm making egg, you know, I'm making some like uh, meringue, you know, whipped cream, you know, meringue out of the egg whites. So I need them uh, to be as, as cold as possible in order to achieve the best possible product, all right? The best possible outcome, okay? So I'm gonna put them in there for a minute. All right, in the meantime, you guys can keep an eye on the chicken over there, all right? I'm gonna wash um, a few of these dishes because I'm gonna re-knead them, so I'm gonna need some of these dishes, so let me just knock this out. In the meantime, for anyone out there watching, if you guys have any questions, any comments, any anything, please, you know, go right ahead. Perfect time, you got me, you got my attention. So as you guys can see, the chicken is just there. You know, again, just set it and forget it. It's, you can't get any easier than that. So by the way guys, the tiramisu that we're making is the traditional tiramisu. Um, I found the recipe online, all right? And um, you know, from authentic, uh, from an authentic Italian chef, right? Uh, basically not an Italian chef, but you know, an Italian home cook, all right? So we're, we're this is gonna be as traditional as possible. Um, all right? Now, in the meantime, I'm gonna start gathering all the other, uh, I'm gonna start gathering all the other equipment and ingredients I need to make the tiramisu. Now, we're not gonna be eating the tiramisu today. The tiramisu is best left overnight. So that's what we're going to be doing the tiramisu today so we can have it tomorrow for dessert with the lasagna, the Italian American lasagna. Okay? For anyone out there. <laughs> Bruh. But the tiramisu is pretty easy, guys, honestly. Um ba -dum -ba -dum. Okay. Got a third third of a cup of sugar. I think this is like a third of a cup. All right, it's a little more. Perfect, I like it sweet anyway. Perfect. Now, 
Now, the recipe that I saw online, um, they added a little bit of Marsala wine to the dipping coffee, all right? This coffee right here. I'm not a big fan of Marsala wine. Also, I mean, actually, Marsala wine's great. I just, you know, don't have it available here. You know what I mean? Is that something? So I gotta go out there and see if I can find it. In the meantime, I do have Cuban rum from Cuba, because Cuba's right there. I live in Mexico, there's no embargo. So we're just gonna add a little rum. You know, we're gonna make a little Caribbean version of this, okay? And the rum is, again, this flavor agent here, you know what I mean? So, oh, okay, so when I was watching this recipe, I did notice that they're using raw egg, right? And I was like, wait a minute, they didn't make this. Ooh, that's, ooh, 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 that's good. <laughs> I was like, I realized, I was like, hey, wait a minute, they didn't, uh, they didn't cook this. What's up with that? You know what I mean? These raw eggs, right? And uh, so yeah, it, this is raw egg. This is exactly how they make it. And by the way, this is exactly how they would do it in Italy. Um, they have their eggs, you know, out and about. You know, they don't refrigerate them, okay? And then they get those same eggs and they make this dish and they eat it and they, they live. They live. Because I saw all the people in the bottom, you know, like not everybody, but some people were like, oh my God, did you use pasteurized eggs? Oh my God. Are you gonna get salmonella and die? Oh my God! So it's like, so yeah, at your own risk, okay? Don't make this if you are very uh, risk averse. Um, you don't, you're not a fan of uh, perhaps getting some sort of salmonella or whatever. Now, salmonella is not gonna kill you. Very rarely will it kill you. Now, it could, you know, make you feel sick for whatever reason. You know, if you, uh, you know, get a bad uh, case of it. But for the most part, you'll be fine. All right. So I highly suggest. Uh, you try making this anyway, whatever happens, take a risk. All right? So yeah, that's what we're doing today. All right? We're gonna, I'm just waiting a couple seconds here um, to let at least the egg whites cool down. So that'll make it a lot easier for me to, to make the dessert. In the meantime, we're gonna get everything else together and then we'll work on the egg whites last. That's like the last thing we'll do, okay? Yeah, because the colder I have the egg whites, the better. Now, I need to figure out a, a dish. What dish can I put this in? I'm trying to figure out. I guess I'm gonna make the tiramisu in this. I'm trying to figure out, I mean, I don't know, I don't have like any smaller containers really. Damn. Um, let's see how much cream I make first, all right? Let's see how much, let's see how much uh, it comes out first and then we'll go from there. All right, so we got the three egg yolks in here, all right? Let's um, start working on this. Did we lose internet? Oh no. Oh awesome, a stove and a gimbal. That's pretty badass. How many ounces is 226 grams? Can anyone do a quick math for me there and help me out? What's uh, how many ounces is 226 grams? And by the way, shout out to everyone watching me on Twitch. I love you extra much. If you can leave a comment on Twitch, I would love you even more. All right, so we're gonna be mixing here. Okay, the egg, the sugar, Get, a, get yourself like a, a mixer, probably make life a lot easier for you. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa.
Maybe not. <laughs> I never use this fucking thing. Jesus Christ, what a fucking mess. What a fucking disaster. All right, one second. Hold on, let me uh, clean up. Okay, eight, eight ounces, perfect, thanks. Appreciate it. But anyways, yeah, we gotta get all the ingredients together, all right? So basically, we got three egg yolks in here, okay? Three egg yolks, a third of a cup of sugar, and now eight ounces of uh, mascarpone cheese. All right. You know, mascarpone, just in case you cannot get it, like a nice uh, cream cheese will do. Obviously, it's not the same, but it is what it is. Shout out to Blueberry out there. Got the chicken cacciatore already doing its thing back there. Alright, so we're gonna mix this, I guess, alright? Let me bring the camera over here so you guys can see a little better. Okay, so we got got the mascarpone in there with uh, the egg yolks and the sugar. Okay, gonna mix all that together. Once we get this nice and thoroughly mixed together, then we can uh, you know get the egg whites, all right, and beat them. So, you know, so we get that, uh, the meringue and then we mix them together. I'm, oh, let me see. I gotta see it. I gotta see who it is. <laughs> oh, thank you for following the best player. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. You might be the 100 follower on on Twitch, so shout out to you. I was at 99 followers, I think. So you might be one number 100. Shout out to you. A little celebration there. All right, so we're gonna try and mix all this together first, like this. And then we're gonna try, we're gonna try this again. Wish me luck. Let 
I made a huge mess a second ago. The play, yes, you are the best player. I don't know what you play. Are you like a player? You know, you out there, play, you know, you got like women all over you, or you just like a player, like you play a specific video game, or, or are you, are you like a basketball player? Are you really Shaq? I mean, can you be more specific? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> All right. Anyway, shout out to you, brother. Shout out to you. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for. Uh, what's it? Yeah, thanks for joining us. I think that's, that's the word. Welcome aboard. Okay, so we got the chicken cacciatore. Doing this thing back there, all right. So let's try. Let's try this thing again, all right. Hopefully it doesn't make a huge mess. Well, hopefully for me, all right. Let's try this, all right. Wish me luck. Go, go, go! This thing just has to be messy. What the f the hell, man? Why? All right. Try smushing it together here. Yeah, I mean, I guess this is why you would need like a hand mixer. Check on the egg whites, I don't want to freeze them either. Alright, so let's try this here. I guess the idea is to get all those lumps out. Oh, look, I, I break everything, man. Jesus. Bruh. The worst. Bruh. Right. Keep it together here. I think I broke this already. Look at this. Oh, it is broken, broken. Never mind. Forget it. We just wrap this shit around here. Fuck. I know, right? It wouldn't be a show if I didn't break something. That's right. I, I, I fucking broke the. But look, it's okay. I fixed it, right? In fact, I think it's better now. There you go. All right. Nice and smooth.
<laughs> a, little, a, little, a little smudge on the camera there. Sorry about that. best player you're back yeah I was asking you well first of all welcome aboard shout out to you thanks for coming thanks for joining but I was asking you what what are you the best player of what do you like what exactly you know nice and smooth there you go okay so now what we're gonna do is just put this in the fridge you know to keep cool okay What are, you, are you like the best player? You know, like your player, you know, like with the with the with the, with the chicks, you know, like beep beep pew pew, you know, like chicks, you know. Or are you like the best player of like a specific game, you know, like Roblox or something? Or or are you like a really, really famous, like, uh, you know, basketball player like Michael Jordan, since you're like the best player, you know, or like Tom Brady? Which one of those? Shout out to you. We got royalty up in here. <laughs> Bruh. got the egg whites let's try the egg whites now all right gonna mix these up into make a meringue and we're definitely gonna use this thing here all right and again a cold bowl um you know cold uh oh did the gopro die all right hold on a second and one thing But yeah, you know, having a cold bowl, cold uh, contents makes it, you know, makes it a lot easier for you to work with. All right, so we're gonna give it a minute. I'm gonna put it back in the freezer while we reconnect this thing here. Anyway, shout out to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Hey, Lodak, I sent you something in the Discord. Um, I'm in the private chat. You should check it out. Yeah, like I think yesterday something about like gold and silver. I was like, oh wow, that's super cool And I just thought you would like that Since you know all the cool things that are happening in the world right now. I just thought it was pretty relevant You might enjoy it Better get those oh, yeah, like uh, so like I, I heard Well, not I heard but that video that I sent you was basically like a an interview with like a gold silver dealer like an actual dealer and they were talking about like uh you know people are starting to hoard nickels like like u.s nickels because uh u.s nickels um they have about like over 10 cents of nickel copper in them so basically each five cent nickel is worth like 10 to 15 cents give or take yeah you know what i mean and and, and 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 they're worth that in metal you know what i mean in actual metal just like uh any 1982 co any you know like 1982 pennies or or whatever um or like really old dimes that were actually had silver in them too remember so yeah nickels today have um like around 10 to 15 cents worth of copper in them or some shit like that isn't that crazy 
mean, that's just one thing. I mean, those are a few things in that video I thought you might enjoy. So, all right, let's get back to what we were doing here. Yeah, man, like now I feel like a dumbass because I can't get U.S. nickels out here, you know? It's like, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be fucking hitting up all the banks, you know, hey, how many nickels you got? You know, like, anyways. But yeah, by the way, banks are, they know what's up and they're not giving away those nickels either. So it's a whole thing. I, I think you enjoy it. All right, so let's, uh, let's start whipping these uh, egg whites. Wish me luck here. A lot easier. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. So you see how it's getting nice and hard? Now you don't want to over mix them, okay? Um, but we're almost there. We're almost at the stiff peaks. You know, you see, look, so soft peaks. We're not there yet. Almost. Remember, you don't wait. You don't. The thing is, you don't want to go over. All right, because then you'll start doing the opposite effect. Let me see. I think we're almost there. Let me see. Almost. There you go. I think we got that. Okay, so you see now? There you go. That's what you're looking for, right? All right, stiff. All right, that it doesn't move. But again, there's a fine line. If I go a little further, it turns and starts turning back into liquid real quick. Okay, so now we're going to go on ahead and get the other okay the other mixture all right and we're going to start mixing this in here okay we're going to start folding it in
And the reason you gotta fold it in, we're gonna do this quick because it's hot out here, is because again, you're trying to preserve um, the airiness that we just pumped into there, that we just whipped, okay? this back into the freezer okay make sure you incorporate it completely okay look at that what a beautiful thing okay Sure you get all the way to the bottom okay you know that nice and thick all right so now we're gonna put this back all right we're gonna put that back into the freezer for a little bit to stiffen up a little bit again only on I'm only adding a, a, the extra steps of the freezer here more than anything else only because it's a hundred and five degrees outside literally that hot so you know sometimes when you're cooking you need to make adjustments like that you just have to you know what i mean like you gotta you know like this is something that can be made in, in hot weather warm weather but you know again 105 degrees is 105 degrees it's very rare that you're gonna find a 105 degree weather day in uh italy all right <clears throat> so let's not forget that all right let's uh, go on ahead and take a quick look at the chicken cacciatore look at that Back, hold on, let me uh, let's switch cameras for a minute. Look what that turned into that. Look at that. See it's starting to thicken up. The sauce is starting to thicken up. All right. The chicken, I want it to cook a little bit more. All right. See it's starting to not stick, but you know, again, you know, that's what we get. We got it just in time. Anyways, we're gonna add a little bit more water. Oh, um, Lodak, so yeah, you're talking about the whole egg white, uh, you know, not just the egg whites, but just the pasteurization situation. Um, for example, in a country like Mexico, you know, I can get raw milk, you know, all the eggs, even from the factory farms, you know, they're stored at room temperature. Um, because, in, you know, there's no fear 
of any kind of uh, bacteria or any kind of anything really uh, affecting you. Now, if there is, there's milk available. And in fact, they go as far, and I think you've seen it before, that the milk that they sell here in Mexico is in boxes, all right? Ultra duper, super crazy pasteurized. So either you have people that drink this, most people drink this, or other people drink the, the raw milk, which is both available. In fact, the raw milk is cheaper. Um, out here in the United States, you can get you cannot get raw milk in some places you can but raw milk You know, you might as well be trafficking drugs in some places. All right, and um, same thing with like things like eggs and stuff like that You know or having your own thing so you know out here like the reason I'm gonna tell you why the reason that you can store eggs at room temperature all over the world except for the US and it's because when the egg or when the when the hen lays the egg there's a thin white film that and that covers the egg, all right? And that white film that covers the egg that's invisible um, basically protects the egg from anything penetrating the egg, any bacteria, any anything, anything, period. Um, and because we are overly sanitized in the U.S., what they do in the U.S. is that they actually wash the eggs, therefore washing off that protective film Therefore, you need to store your eggs in the fridge because if you store them outside, they could spoil. But since the rest of the world doesn't wash their eggs at the factory or whatever, um, well, they can store them at room temperature, even if it's 105 degrees outside because, well, guess what? They're protected. Worst case scenario, I'll get like a little baby chick, you know, come out one day, you know, like, because it's that hot. <laughs> you know, if I leave it there long enough, you know. Uh, but that's it really you know what I mean and I've never I, I used to get more sick and I've told you guys some of you guys have been following me for a very long time I used to get more sick Regularly in the US than I do here. I, I very rarely get like a like, you know sick, you know, like any kind of like uh, um, uh, You know salmonella or any kind of sickness like that out here. It happens just it happens everywhere But it's so rare out here and a lot of times when it happens out here. You just basically you know, it's in and out that's it, it's not like you're sick for days or anything like that. Again, some people get that just like anywhere else, but the US was, for me at least, for at least for my stomach flora and bacterium, it, it prefers a place like Mexico, all right? <laughs> and I think a lot of people out there too, you know, a lot of people that have had a lot of uh, stomach issues and problems, they quickly realize, all right? So I'm just gonna keep adding a little bit more water here because I want it to cook a little bit more. The reason I'm adding water, again, the water is the vehicle, all right, um, in which this is cooking in. Um, most of it is gonna evaporate, but that's what, that's like, you know, just look at, think, think of water like oil, you know, like if you're deep frying or of the oven or whatever, it's a vehicle, okay? We're cooking this in liquid, all right? So that's, that's, that's how we're doing this, and so we need to add a little bit more water so we can continue the cooking process, all right? Because we want it, to be at a certain thickness level, and we can only achieve that level once a certain amount of liquid has evaporated from the actual dish. So if too much has evaporated, we add a little bit more and just extend, you know, just like the, the United States government, you know, the, the, the Federal Reserve, you know, they just need a little bit more, they, they print a little bit more. You know, they just print a little bit more. No problem, you know what I mean? Just keep, Keep doing it infinite amount of times until the chicken becomes mush. You know, like basically a lot of U.S. citizens are becoming mush right now, right? Bruh. Okay. Same, same thing. Same kind of sim similar, similar situation. All right. So let's start working on. <laughs> All right. So let, let's put this on low. I, this is done. All right. So I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna just kind of flip these bad boys around. I haven't really flipped them. Even though they're all cooked, you know, whatever, we're gonna flip them around. Make sure we get all sides. But this, I mean, these guys are basically already, already starting to fall off the bone. So we're basically done. So I'm putting it on low and letting it just slowly evaporate and stuff like that. Also, since it's like 105 degrees, it's gonna be evaporating a lot quicker as opposed to if um, you know, you're making this dish in Minnesota, like my friend that lives in Minnesota, and um, there's, there's, so, bro, can you believe my friend that lives in Minnesota, Hanson, you know, the guy I do the podcast with, he literally got stuck in the snow, like snow, snow, the other day. 
And I'm out here in 105 degree weather. I mean, I don't know about you, I, I prefer this kind of weather, you know? All right, so, as you guys can see, we have like a nice amount here, okay? So um, we're gonna make, like, let me see what I do here for, uh, for the plating of these. Uh... So I, I think what I'm gonna do, Oh, okay, I'll do that. Mm. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Let me wash this real quick. So we still got some of these almond cookies, man. These almond cookies are so good, so good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna store these though. I'm gonna wash this, yeah, because I wasn't too sure how much uh, tiramisu I'm gonna be able to make until I actually made it. So now that I see how much cream I have, I know this is not this is not gonna cut it. That's too small, and this could be probably a little bit on on the bigger side, but that's fine. I'd rather rather be a little bigger than you know, a little smaller, right? That's what she said. <laughs> Got the wife over there, you know, groaning in disgust. <laughs> That was a wrong sound effect, but whatever, we'll take it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be making this thing in here. Let me put it in the fridge for a minute. The freezer, I mean. So all that helps, guys. I mean, every little thing like that, especially when you're working in a very hot environment, but even if you're not, it helps. You know, for you to just go right ahead and put it back, you know, put it in the freezer. You know, like the containers that you're using, you know, for example, we're using that, whatever, you know, the container that we're gonna start making this dish in, you know, the tiramisu, it'd be best, you know, um, to have it cold. What's wrong? It'd be best to have it cold um, because again, we're, we're, this, is, this is a dish that we're going to be storing in the fridge overnight. Um, a lot of the ingredients are delicate, all right? So we're going to want to try to keep it, you know, again, as cold as possible while we're making it as well. So that, again, and it might sound crazy or weird, you know, but no, no. We, I mean, in fact, in professional kitchens, like really nice kitchens, we have these uh, special uh, um, contraptions, you know, that are like deep, uh, what is it, like... Um, not deep freezers, but like instant freezers. And a lot of times, you know, when you, you want to, you make something right off, you know, you literally just took it off the, the, the stove and you need to like freeze it or get it cold as humanly possible. You can stick it in these things and, uh, you know, a deep, deep chiller or quick chiller. I don't know, I forgot what they're called. Maybe someone out there knows. Okay, I couldn't find any lady fingers, but I found these little, um, Ladyfinger wannabes and you know, they're like whatever, you know, we'll go with these I'm not a big ladyfinger fan anyway, so these things are probably better. So not a major loss but Anyways, I hope that answered the egg question um, And then the whole pasteurization um, You know, I'm not I, I'm, I'm not I'm not a big fan of like the pasteurization either um, Pasteur Pasteur the guy that invented pasteurization when he uh, when he was on his deathbed, all right, he said uh, it was a mistake everything he did. Um, so you can take that with whatever you want to, you know, however you want to, you know, take that. So yeah, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, pasteurizing milk and pasteurizing things isn't necessarily the best option, but that's the option that most of us think that that's the route we got to go to or else. So anyways, all right, a blast chiller, yes. You win the prize. You win the prize. Wait. No.
Man, it's so hot. Anyways, the chicken cacciatore um, was looking amazing. But yes, it was a blast chiller. All right, so let's just get this guy going, all right? Let's uh, start making the tiramisu. push a wrong button there. Alright, so you guys are going to watch me layer the tiramisu. Mmm, mm, okay, yeah, they, these are almost lady fingers. Whatever, close enough. I'm gonna need a bigger uh, container, I see. Okay, that one got really soaked. All right, hold on. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I never made this before, but I saw how they made it, and uh, I know I already fucked up. Okay, so just quickly. There you go. Oh no, I'm gonna need more coffee. Don't! Man, that shit soaked it up quick. Alright. Good thing I got that coffee already done. This back in the freezer. Where's the? Make that coffee real quick. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the thing, I was like, oh, that doesn't seem right. That seems like a lot of coffee for the dish. I guess I was wrong. The thing is that, like, the where I was getting the, uh, the recipes this time around, uh, they actually, um, they have really good recipes. It's like this Italian uh, 
Italian couple cooking or whatever. Um, but the thing is that they, um, they're not really that good, you know, when they're explaining and uh, they're not really that good when they're making the videos per se. So it makes it very hard and you gotta really like guess and like figure it out on your own. Um, but hey, I mean, I did pretty good. I mean, I got their focaccia recipe and I got a few other recipes from them. So, and this is okay. I just miscalculated on the coffee, but it's not that big of a deal. You know, so we're just gonna, you know, make the coffee really quick again. Just make some quick coffee. And then just cool it down. Then we make it the top part. So I'm thinking, since I, I don't think I'm going to have enough cookies, I think I'm going to... See, I don't, I don't got like completely 100% enough cookies, so I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. So I can, you know, layer the whole thing. Maybe this side will be something else. I'm to figure that out. One second. What can I put there? Okay, well, I think what I'm going to end up doing is just making two of them. Probably be easier. Okay, yeah, I know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this and then I'm gonna make whatever with the remaining, I'm gonna make little ones. That's what we'll do. We'll chef it up. We're gonna chef it up in here. That's what we're gonna do. Making it nice and make it very nice. Alright. Yeah, we're just waiting for the coffee. Waiting for the coffee to finish up there. A little more rum, right? And then after this, we're gonna be making that nudie. All right, wish gonna wish me luck with that one. That's like a new thing I've never made before. But that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be. Uh, we are gonna be serving the chicken cacciatore with the nudi, okay? So that's why I'm not making rice or I'm not making anything else with it. All right, coffee is ready, all right? Let me cool down the coffee.
put it straight into the freezer, into the deep blast chiller to see if we can get that to cool down as quickly as possible. We don't want it to be too hot, so it's gonna wait. Cooling down fairly quickly. It helps that it's like so hot out here, honestly. Okay. getting this thing together. Okay, so again, this is super crazy easy, okay? As long as you get all your shit ready together. Okay, so here, we already got, okay, we dipped the little cookies, the little lady fingers in the coffee. We've made the first layer. Okay, now we're gonna put some of this cream that we made earlier over the top. Okay, make a nice little layer. Okay, look at that. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna start layering It's too hot. That's okay. Look at that, voila. So basically that's it. Now what we're gonna do is put this, okay? Mmm, tastes super good, wow. Put this in the fridge until tomorrow, and then tomorrow we eat. So I'm gonna put this
okay? Now, yes, I gotta cool that. Oh, I gotta cool that down a little more before I make the rest of them. Okay. Mmm. It's really good, though. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm gonna end up doing is just making a bunch of little ones here, okay? As soon as that cools down in a few seconds. In the meantime, we're gonna start getting ready to make our nudie, all right? And what is a nudie? Basically, we're making the filling for the ravioli without the ravioli, that's it. So the first thing we're going to be needing to do is that we need to cook off some spinach, all right? We don't need that much water, just enough to get this going. First thing we gotta do is we gotta cook spinach. So we're gonna kinda like look through it, sift through it real quick. Make sure we don't have any bad pieces. And give it a quick wash, rinse. Okay. So like, what we're making now is basically the ricotta, the ricotta, or the ricotta filling, okay, for the ravioli. But we're not making the ravioli part, which is again just just the filling, and um, and then we make it into like little balls, and we boil them, and we eat them, and that's it. So I think you guys will like this. I never made this before, but it looks delicious. And I think it'll go well with the chicken. As opposed, you know, something a little different. As opposed to like the same typical rice or pasta or potatoes. Let's uh let's go with something like and this and I think this is this is pretty keto friendly, right? It's cheese. So right? You can eat cheese. Right? You know, we're just picking up the nasty little leaves. They always sneak in there. We just throw those in the compost. But yeah, that tiramisu was, uh, the filling was really delicious. I can't wait to try it tomorrow. I can't believe my dumb ass didn't make enough coffee. I swear to God, I thought it was gonna be enough coffee. I guess not. Well, now you know, I made the mistake for you guys, all right? How's that? So you gotta make a lot of coffee to make sure, because that, those things soak up a lot. <laughs> yeah, I need I need those uh you know what hey Loda can you do me a favor bro can you send me in the Discord um because I'm gonna forget you know just quick reminders hey download um download um these mp3s for what is it for sound effects or whatever you know um do you have a joint uh or is that a joint um which one else um all the other ones that we talked about earlier see I already forgot them see Bruh. 
So we can add all the sound effects. You know, the Julia Child and the, if Jan can cook, so can you. So I can make all those. So I can get those for next week. He's already got this one. Look here! Look, listen! <laughs> and of course, the infamous. Bruh. And we got that nice and clean. these guys over here. Water's so hot. Thanks, thanks, Lord. Man, the water is so hot. Um, I could basically almost cook them. You know, <laughs> just under the hot water coming out of the. Okay, right, so we're waiting for the water to get hot. Let's go on ahead and finish these bad boys up here. So we're gonna now what we're gonna do is make little mini. All right, we're gonna make little mini um, tiramisu's. Okay. okay you guys can see it there, right? Go for the number three, okay? Just stuff it in there.
We got all this like powder, all right? So let's uh, mm, this will be like the fatty bobatty style. Let's take you to the moon style. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfection. Eh. Eh. Now you know it. You know it. Look at that. Bam. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply put these on a plate. Okay. Put them in the fridge. Do that and then later the last thing that we're gonna do okay so look at that we got those three there all right but later the last thing we're actually gonna do is that we are going to um, before we serve them later tomorrow the last thing we're gonna do is put um, some cocoa powder a little cocoa powder over the top that's it what a beautiful thing so we got the nice big theater, the little mini tiramisu, and then we got these right here. So actually what I'm gonna do with this, man, you know, it actually tastes really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover these up. So I already know these things are bomb. Can't wait to try them tomorrow, for real. I'm gonna put a little wrap here. Thanks again, thanks again, Loda. I appreciate you for sending me that. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. You know, I am enjoying hanging out with you guys as always. And shout out to everyone on Twitch. I know nobody's on Twitch. Bruh. I still love you anyway. I hate this plastic wrap so much. <laughs> oh shit! We got my homeboy out there on Twitch. Shout out to you. I was just telling everybody about your adventures in the, the snow kingdom up there. I'm in 105 degree weather and you're still like in 105 feet of snow. Bruh. Oh no. Let me see. Yeah, I hope Lodak is watching on Twitch. <laughs> oh, he's probably working, that's probably why. I don't know. Still, still love him anyway. 
snow over there too. Get out of here, bro. It's, I, I swear to God, it's 105 degrees out now. Like, I'm not lying, I'm not fucking around. You can check it yourself. <laughs> well, it's, pro it's probably a little less now, I think. Yeah, it says 101, all right, we went down a little bit. <laughs> you know, one, it's only 101. Gizmo chasing the cats out there. I can't believe you guys have snow over there. There you go. Look at that beautiful. So the, now, now we're talking. Look at that. Look at what a beautiful, beautiful dish. Right? Look at that. Okay, it's falling off the bone. It's nice and yummy. We got those olives in there. We got capers. We got all kinds of yummy deliciousness. Okay, we're just letting that ride. We're letting it just slowly, you know, do its thing. In the meantime, we got some spinach that we got to take care of real quick. So now. With the spinach, all we're doing is just blanching it for like a minute. That's it, okay? So just really quick. All right, so let's get working on that. Where did I put Let me get my, uh, hold on. Get them all. I'm gonna talk. Gizmo, stop being a little bitch. 10X. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's get that spinach. Remember guys, we're just steaming this really quick. Because we gotta cook it, okay? Por favor. Okay. I mean, this is super quick, all right? We're, we're basically done here. Okay, so. Now we're just gonna strain this, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna drain that real quick. Squeezing some of the liquid out here. Okay.
Just squeezing as much of that water out of there as I can. Okay? Now, again, this is what I saw them doing in the recipe. Okay? All right, you're gonna see it's hot. So, but just basically, you see squeezing, all right? And you're gonna see all this liquid out here. Here, hold it. You can do it this way. Okay, it's hot, but I'm squeezing it here. And you see it's still liquid coming out, okay? Now, I'm no expert on making this, okay? I heard it's really difficult to make this. But we're gonna try our best. But um, just from my experience, you know, cook, cooking other things similar to this, I know that uh, liquid is your enemy here. Right, so we're trying to see if we can get as much liquid out. Now, the next thing I saw them do is I, got, I saw them get scissors, right? And then just, you know, basically chopping this up like that. Well, that's what we're doing. I know, you would think a knife, right? But whatever. Careful not to cut your own fingers <laughs> or, <laughs> or smash them or whatever. Then, you know, in the meantime, continuing to squeeze as much of the water as you can out. Okay. I'm just, you know, cutting the spinach. <laughs> oh my god, we got the peanut gallery over there. <laughs> she's, um, Kristen says she's melting over there. All right, so we gotta let this cool down a little bit. Got Christian hallucinating from the heat over there. All right, so yeah, most of the liquid's already, see? Well, let this, this thing. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do with the chicken here, I'm actually gonna cover it up. Okay, um, so that way it doesn't evaporate too much more. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more liquid, a little bit more water. Just a little. You know, if we can have that nice little sauce, you know, rehydrated again, and that's it. But that's it, we're not gonna be adding any more water from this point on, all right? We're just gonna let it simmer on low until we're done with everything else, okay? That's it, just cover it, set it, and forget it, all right. So now,
Yeah, Chris, it's like it's so hot. I go over there and it's like, it's a nice 95 degrees, all right? Bruh. It's 105 over here. By the way, if you're not working in a hot kitchen, are you even cooking? You know what I mean? But what do I know? What do I know? If the kitchen's not hot, is it even a kitchen? All right, so basically the nudie is we gotta mix all the ingredients together, all right? And then we make little meatballs, or little balls out of the, the cheese mixture. And then we dip them, we dip our balls in the flour. And, uh, we um we boil them for a little bit. So let me go on ahead and get the other. Let me get the water back. So it's um, about 250 grams of cheese, ricotta cheese. Let's, um, I'm going to add some of this to the cacciatore, as a matter of fact. Let me, uh, a little green. I'm going to make a little less nudie. I'm going to make a little less nudie because just in case I don't have enough uh, ingredients here.
Okay, so basically the ingredients are ricotta cheese, spinach, salt and pepper, little nutmeg, some parmesan. Seems easy enough. More famous last words, right? Okay, so yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, the camera went out. Oh, perfect timing anyway. Give me one second, let me reset the camera. But again, basically we got all the ingredients in here, okay? As you guys can see, it's, um, you know, we got the spinach, we got the cheese, all right? And the salt and the pepper, you know, that's it. It's, it's, it's not that hard, really. Oh, that's what she said. But yeah, I just went with a little bit less than whatever um, I have in the recipe there, only because I didn't have, I don't have, I'm running low on flour and I'm running low on Parmesan. So I just want to make sure, you know what I mean? We can make this thing here. So again, you can adjust your recipes as they go. And this is a super, this is a recipe that from, from what I was seeing when they were making it, it seems like it's something that is, uh, <clears throat> You know highly adjustable you get what i'm saying like it has to you know like you have to each each time is different okay so we're, we're still mixing this here with uh what is it with the spoon but pretty soon i gotta get my hands in there okay but you see this is exactly what if you're making ravioli for example you know this is probably like the the filling that you would have in there and it's funny because the recipe, as they were, were talking, it's like, you know, the par you add Parmesan Reggiano, and they're like, you add as much as you like, and you add like that. It's like, it's all very, um, nothing was exact at all. So I kind of had to figure this out on my own. But um, it looks so good, you know what I mean? That it's like, oh, I got to try this. And the person that was, uh, they had like a taste tester and they were like, uh, you know, like more of a, like an American and they were like, wow, this is so good. This is so crazy good. It's basically the filling without the pasta. So like, all right, I'm going to try. All right. So there we go. We got it kind of mixed there. You guys can see. Now we're going to go on ahead and add some flour. All right. So again, let's just go over the ingredients real quick. All right, we added some ricotta, we added some Parmesan, we added some uh, spinach, okay? We added some salt, some pepper, a little bit of nutmeg, and that's it. And now we're gonna, again, add some. Okay, so now we gotta add some flour, but now I gotta get my hands in there, okay? Let me see, okay, yeah. So I can tell, we're basically trying to make a dough here, all right? So you don't want to make too much flour, you don't want to add too little flour. But you need to make like a dough. Something. Remember, we're gonna be boiling this, so it has to kind of like keep its shape. Okay.
very hot. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> See, now it's coming together like a dough. Okay, you don't want this to be really like sticking to your fingers too much. You make little balls out of it, you see? There you go, then we got. Someone going? Hey. I need my assistant for a second. Jane, Jane. Don't plato. No, 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 no. Plato, plato. And dos. Un grande, un grande, un chiquito. All right. So now we're gonna start making these nudie. Okay. Start making these little balls here. All right, I hope I have enough flour. I think I'm going to have enough flour. I think, I think that's going to be enough. We'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear. All right, so we're making little balls here, all right? Eh, la tiendita no vende harina, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Sí? Puedes comprar un poquito. Una bolsa, nada más un poquito. A mí, espérate, yo te digo. Ok, so you, you guys can see what I'm doing there. I'm making little balls. I'm dipping them in the flour and we're good to go. And we're waiting on the water back there. I think I have enough flour. So yeah, I've, I've never even heard of this before. This is the first time I see this dish. No, no te preocupes, I have enough. Yeah, but these look really, 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 really good, though. I'm not gonna lie. Looking forward to them. Has anyone out there ever heard of these before? So what we're gonna do with these is basically, as soon as I'm done flouring them here, we're gonna boil them real quick. All right, give them a little boil. Um, not boil, um, simmer. You know, we're gonna cook them in the water, all right? And then we're gonna finish them in a nice, beautiful sage butter. So we're basically, we're just melting um, some butter, adding a little bit of sage, and then finishing them off there.
So this is gonna be super yummy, interesting, something different, that's for sure. All right, so the rest of the thing, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I got nine nudie. Not bad. So Lodak has never heard of them. Yeah, like I, I don't, you know, like I said, I've never heard of them or anything. I'm super intrigued by them. And you gotta be very careful because there's a fine line between, is, they remain whole, they remain exactly like, you know, in, in, in shape like this, or um, they end up being um, soup. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer. I can help maintain that. All right, thank God we had. Look, there's so much flour I have left. You know, Jesus Christ. Oh, no more flour left, but whatever. Let's uh, check the water. The water is boiling, so I'm going to bring that down to a simmer because I saw it, you know, it wasn't that hot. All right, in the meantime, let me uh, reset the camera. All right, there we go. A little, you know, better camera setup situation there, I think. All right, we're trying. All right, look at that chicken cacciatore. Wow. Yes. The hell? que no da para los lados, qué pasó? Here, check this out. I had to take care of something off camera there. <laughs> Someone apparently forgot how to use a fan. <laughs> well, it's okay. I forgot. I forgot how to cook myself all the time, so don't worry about it. Uh huh. That's right. You're good. <laughs> Blame it on the man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get these nudies in the water okay so I'm gonna raise the heat up again real quick I want to make sure we're some of the extra spinach in here first of all it looks better right look at that so much nicer looking but on top of that um, yeah I mean these nudie already had like a lot of uh, spinach in them. okay so let's uh, let's let's um, let's uh, wish me luck Now 
That was the proper technique. <laughs> no, but seriously, for real, that, that was it. So basically, we gotta just leave them in there, all right? Don't touch, he's like, do not touch, do not touch, no touch. I'm like, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. No touch. All right, so no touch, okay? That's like, I mean, that's the recipe, that's the Italian recipe, okay? Bruh. It's like, no touch. Like, what are you saying? No touch? No, no touch. No touch. Oh. No touching. Yes, no touch. Bruh. All right. So I'm just covering it up for a minute. So that way we can see we can get a little bit more back to a boil without a boil. All right. Just, you know, increasing the heat because, you know, we dropped it for a minute because we added those in there. So far, so good. So we're cooking the filling, we're cooking the, the flour, right? The, the flour helped encase them, right? To make sure that they don't, uh, you know, pop, pop, pop. And again, we don't know because it's funny because when they were making them, they're like, yes, sometimes, sometimes it's a good, or sometimes it's a sheep. I need to get that one too. Hey, hey, Lorak, can you remind me of that one? Sometimes it's a good, sometimes it's a sheet. I need to get that one. But that's what they were saying. You know, sometimes it's a good, sometimes it's a sheet. So it all just really depends. So, we gotta pray to Mount Zuvius that this comes out. In the meantime, let's start getting that butter and sage Okay, so the chicken cacciatore is basically done. So I'm gonna cover this and put this over here to the side so we can start working on the butter sage sauce. So this is fairly simple. It's just butter and sage, that's it. Sometimes it's a good, uh, sometimes it's a shit. But I think the, I think it's looking good so far. Looking good. Okay, so we got that butter in there. Let's give these guys a little jolt. So basically, they're done. You know, just make sure they're not like stuck to the bottom. Okay, they're perfect. All right, but basically these guys are done when they float to the top. Okay. Once they float to the top, you know they're dead. I mean, they're done. Thank you for the compliments. Senor, where did I put the sage? A little sage. All right, so we don't want this good on low. Keep it on low here. Get some sage. You know, you want some fresh sage if you have it. I don't. That's it, simple, simple, simple. Okay, these guys so far so good. So far so good. Yeah, it's always a risk when you put your balls in hot water. Couldn't I put it better myself, sir? <laughs> even got Christian to chuckle there. See, how come she laughs at your ball jokes, but not mine? What the fuck, man? What the fuck's going on? Oh, 
All right, so we got the nice little butter sage sauce. Oh, look at that, look at that. Shit, I made it. Holy crap. Who knew? Who knew I knew how to cook? Okay, so look at that. Look at these bad boys floating to the top. Okay, so once they float to the top, they're done. Here, hold on, I got it. Wow. Oh, I'm excited to try these, man. Okay, we got that one there, one, one straggle. So we're gonna just dump them in here. That's it, they're done. Get this out of the way. Wow, I'm proud of myself. Look at those balls! Look at those balls! How exciting. Mm. How exciting. Man, these smell so good. so good it's crazy that they're keeping their shape I'm still like uh, like you know I'm shocked look at that we got the chicken cacciatore to go along with these guys and these guys are done Get asparagus or no? Get yeah. asparagus. Oh, see? Okay. Okay. I mean, si no, no, ya vamos a comer ya si quieren. Alright, so we got those guys cooking there. So what I'm gonna do now is because I need this uh, this pan because I forgot I gotta make the the asparagus. Completely forgot about those. So these guys are done. 
Look at that, and they stay and they keep their shape. How awesome is that? So I'm just gonna keep these guys. And I'm gonna just use the same pan for the asparagus. I'm gonna turn it off for a minute. We just gotta wash the asparagus. It's only gonna take a second. I forgot I had to make the asparagus, but the asparagus is super easy. So we leave it for last. Okay, we just basically cut off a good majority, okay, of the stem here. Okay, because it's unedible, really. It's not. Especially the way we're eating it now. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to go on ahead and give these guys a quick wash. A quick rinse. my asparagus. Oh no, don't tell me one of them. Alright, hold on. Let me get the camera set up. Be like uh, cinco minutos. Really. Yeah, cinco diez minutos. Sí, pero yo te llamo. No, no, no. Okay, let me just, okay, so what I'm doing is, uh, besides hooking up the camera, <laughs> is what, I, I'm gonna use the same pan, because first of all, that's just, I don't want, I need to wash it. It's basically, I'm just cooking um, asparagus in butter, salt and pepper, and whatever herb and spices you want. Now, I usually do not add sage, not because I don't want to, just because I usually don't have it around. But in this case, since we used the same pan and, you know, there was a little sage in that butter, so we're going to have a little bit of sage in the butter that we're going to be tossing our... Um, that we're going to be tossing our asparagus in. Now, the asparagus cooks fairly quickly. I'm just washing it really quick, you know, just keeping it in some water. We're gonna get a nice butter, a nice chunk of butter, all right? We're gonna make a nice little butter sauce. Keep it super simple. The main ingredient here that's really gonna pop, make everything pop, some lemon, all right? Now, I have a half a lemon here because Christian was making some tea earlier, and I was like, perfect. You know what I mean? We're gonna use that, all right? And the camera should be going live any second now. There we go. All right. So let's get the fire on again so we can finish and complete the dinner. All right, we look at that, look at that. Beautiful chicken. Okay, we're just gonna melt this butter. And let me uh, switch cameras so you can get a better view. Okay, so we're just going to stir this around. This is done.
done. We're just keeping it a nice and low and warm. it real quick is to make make get all that butter on them okay now that they're thoroughly covered in butter you know now we can add some salt and pepper as soon as I find it pepper for a minute so it can kind of steam for a second okay so again salt pepper we had a little bit of sage in there all right we're going to go on ahead and add a little bit of thyme not a lot just a little bit a little thyme in there all right and that's it guys you don't got to overcomplicate. this is a super easy simple dish all right i'm gonna get this off the stove for a minute Place it with this. Okay. Beautiful thing. Okay. Get that lime juice in there. This is really what brings asparagus to the next level. Okay. Toss them, toss them, toss them. All right, cover them. Okay, that's it. Easy, we're just covering it for a minute so it can steam. But see how easy it is. Cannot get any easier, all right? getting our plate ready so we can start plating okay let's get our camp okay so again we're giving this one last little toss all right as you guys can see again you guys can see it there. all right nice little yummy deliciousness okay man these look so good that's it simple all right And then look at the asparagus, all right? Let's uh, bring it back over there for a minute. Check this out. Done, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, turn that off and start plating. Now we're gonna start plating, all right? Let's get the camera. All right, we're done with these, all right? So we're gonna turn this off as well.
Oh my god, I'm, I'm even breaking this GoPro equipment. Jesus Christ. Alright. <laughs> I'm the worst. Okay, so let's uh, do a nice little plating here. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do. ¿Qué tú quieres? ¿Murdo o pata? ¿Qué quieres? So we're gonna go on ahead and uh, let's get this uh, skin. Give that to Gizmo. Very hot, right? Okay. Got that. Mm -hmm. We got ourselves a nudie, all right, which is going to give her one because again, she's like super crazy hot right now and it's a little heavy for her. We're going to put a little bit of that sage butter over the top. You know that? And then last but not least, some asparagus. Look at that. What a beautiful little meal, huh? Alright, so I'm gonna try it. Yeah, this thing needs to like move around, like spin. <laughs> you guys are watching uh, here. You guys can see. Like. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is that? There. Mira que bonito. Oh, look at that. Look at how that came out. Get shared on the social medias, all right? I don't think it came out nice and beautiful. I think I don't know if you guys can see it there or not. I know it's kind of dark, but look at that. We got our nice little chicken. We got our nice little nudie, and we got the asparagus. All right, a nice complete meal. All right, let's uh, can we give it a try, por favor? The people want to know. Everybody wants to know what it tastes like. Right? I don't know about that. She goes, oh, if it looks good, it must taste good. Well... Mm -hmm. Official taste tester here. You guys already know. I'm really curious how the the what's it called? Nudie. The nudie came out. Nudie. Hay que pronunciarlo bien. No se ven a enojar los italianos.
That's a chicken, good. Como que pague mucho dinero. Oh, okay, let me see. No me can la So she goes, he goes, it tastes like I paid a lot of money for this. Bruh. But yeah, that's right. Hmm? It's good, the cheese thing good? Yeah? I'm trying a little piece, I'm curious. Mmm. Oh wow. Okay. Oh yeah. And the chicken came out awesome. Better than usual. Uh -huh. Awesome. Gizmo, Gizmo, how is it? Yummy, yummy. All right, Gizmo loves it too. something that I will specifically serve again yeah probably I mean the chicken is something that I make a lot you know a variation of this you know this chicken cacciatore just you know just chicken um the nudie is basically the stuffing inside a ravioli only it just you add more flour and basically I don't, I don't the stuffing inside a ravioli has no flour this has flour so therefore it can keep its shape while you cook it in the water and while it uh, cooks in the butter and it stays you know what I mean it keeps its shape which is amazing because that it's not melted or anything but yet when you eat it it's 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 so delicious it's like melting your mouth right super good super healthy super keto friendly I mean as far as I know I mean I know there's some sugars in there obviously you know what I mean just because of the natural uh, sugars from some of the things <clears throat> that go in there but no way you know this is a uh, you know very um, Look, the nudie itself <clears throat> is basically just cheese and flour. And um, the chicken is just chicken and vegetables, and then we got the asparagus, so. How would this meal go with the Super Bowl? What the hell kind of... Bruh. kind of question is that? <laughs> it will go very well, though. <laughs> it will go very yummy. You can eat this any time of day. Anytime, anytime you want. But uh, Hanson says hi, Christian. Hmm? Hanson dice hola. Hola. Hi, Zoomer. Hola, Zoomer. <laughs> but I think that's it, guys. So, uh, I'm going to go real quick off camera while fi uh, Christian's finishing up here. Um, you want me to serve you a little more? No, I'm steady. You good? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go and raid another channel on Twitch, and I'll be back so I can, you know, say uh, all the goodbyes to everybody else watching on Facebook and YouTube and everybody else. So give me a second, I'll be back when I go do some raiding. Raid! All right, and I'll be back. Cachetori, cachetori. Bien 
de la tecnología de punta. guys well we raided some other channel there and now we're here and we're queer and we're getting used to it somewhat <laughs> anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode i hope you guys try at least a nudie and uh, hopefully you try everything um but everything you know came out awesome right really good mm -hmm. yeah on a scale of one to ten how we do today Say it again? 12. A 12. Alright. <laughs> so yesterday she liked it better. The focaccia yesterday was way better. So um, we still got some of the focaccia here left over. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, yeah, you know, we got some people coming over to pick up some of the food that I just made earlier right now and some focaccia and all that good stuff. So again, if you are in the area, and you know who I am and how to reach me, you already know what to do in order to get some of this yummy food. Now, it's first come, first serve. I'm basically sold out with today's food. I, I don't know if I'm going to have enough for me, but that's okay. I'd rather feed you guys. I, I, I love doing this. It's a lot of fun, and it makes me feel even better to see you guys. Yeah, I can see the messages. It makes me feel even better to see you, you know, to, to you know, have you guys reach out to me that you guys want some of this yummy food. Uh, and um, that's why I post a menu ahead of time and all that other good stuff, you know, so that way, you know, you know what I'm cooking. In fact, now that I have you, your attention, next week and the following week, we're going to be doing Cuban food and Mexican food, all right? So stay tuned for all that. And, you know, again, we're taking requests. You guys already know if you're in the Facebook group, you can just do anything in the Cooking Live Facebook group. You know, any recipes, you can share your own recipes, you can share pictures, you can do whatever. So you, can, you can suggest things and same thing as in the discord and all that other stuff so all right guys enough of all that thanks again for watching today hope you guys enjoyed today's show don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit the bell icon but more importantly than anything else please stay awesome thanks again and we'll see you tomorrow we're making lasagna and we're gonna make some garlic bread and uh i don't know what else oh yeah in the tiramisu i can't wait for that that's gonna be awesome yeah it looked awesome today all right Thanks again for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Laters.